Good morning. Our lives are so routine. And every single night, Joel gets the cameras ready. He puts a battery on the charger and he has a camera ready for me. In all the chaos, we forgot to put a battery on the charger. So the one I grabbed is hopefully going to last. And this one is hopefully going to charge quickly. Dang you, orange light. I just asked Lincoln if he was ready to go. Number one, child, you need to change out of those sweats. These straws are not for you. <laughs> Lincoln, run downstairs and put some shorts on. Go put some shorts on and ones that fit you, not your brothers. Run, go put some shorts on. Lincoln. Lincoln, go get some shorts on. Go get some shorts on. I know lady, I'm disgusted with him too. Do you know what else I do when I am just being a slob? I pile everything in my sink. If I just don't wanna see the garbage and I don't have room for it in my garbage can, I just like pile it all up in this side of the sink and I take it all out later. Yeah, I know, slob, right? I'm just trying to find some sandals. All the lights are on in the house. We are headed out to visit Joel. There's a few measurements that we need to take and a few things we need to do over at the house. And I'm losing my mind, what do I need to take with me? Basically my phone and keys. Guys, got it. Not losing my mind, I've got my purse and my keys and my phone, that's all I need. Before we get out, can you please tell them the conversation we had about pickles on the drive here? Chocolate pickles. He said, is there such thing as chocolate pickles? And I said, I don't think so. He was like, oh, dang it. I wanted chocolate pickles. You wanted to, to eat? be real life. He wanted them to be real life so he could eat them. Boston, come up here. We have a conversation to reenact. What, what question did you have? Yeah, he wanted to know if everyone are babies forever, including grandmas and grandpas. And what did you learn? You'll be a baby and then you'll be a kid and then go to high school and then you'll be dad and then, and then, again, grandpa, and then grandpa. you'll die yeah so we kind of talked about the circle of life the cycle of life i thought that was pretty interesting the conversations that we had and then lincoln said mom he said i bet you can't drive with your thumb off your steering wheel i lifted my thumb off the steering wheel and i drove here just like that to prove my four-year-old wrong Hi. so there proved my four-year-old wrong I want the banana one. Okay. Find me the banana one. I want to try that one. It's not open yet. Hello well, there. Open you don't seem like you're working very hard. Actually. I just finished uh, recording actually. And <laughs> really? Up. Is that a new shirt? This is a new shirt from last year that I never wore. Can I mm. Are those new pants? No. Yay. Remember that spending pass we're on? <laughs> spending pass that I'm on? Um, okay. <laughs> How about we recommit to the spending fast? Right. There's a few things I want still. Get your pinky up here, or I'm going to break it. Oh, need, I'm going to break it. I need my banana one, sorry. <laughs> Hold on, let's, I got I to gotta show everybody. I want to eat it. Okay, Tell them how it is. Well, don't know what it's called, but I bet some of you do. A friend gave that to us. Mm -hmm. The chef of a restaurant. The chef of a restaurant. Give that to us as a thank you. We got to the house and I couldn't even film because we got in, I got the picture that I needed, like the measurement, and then one of my children really had to use the restroom and we don't have a restroom working in the house. So we had to take off. We got that taken care of and then Joel was like, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to print the house plans so that I can have them here at the house for the plumber. So we're here at FedEx and we're getting some prints made. But first, gas. I brought floor plans. All right, I need to show these to you people because they are very exciting. Here are all of the dimensions of the walls and that kind of stuff, which is maybe not as fun to look at as this actual plan. Oh, this makes me very happy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what was so fun about creating the floor plans for this place is 
I had a viewer actually reach out to me and she was in school doing this kind of thing and she reached out saying that she would do these for me and so I just wanted to say a special thank you to Margaret Adams. I will put her Instagram on the screen here and in the description so if any of you guys are needing any floor plans done. I'm not sure what else she does, but that's what she did for me was create these floor plans. She was so great. We FaceTimed, we, I showed her the place. She kind of already knew it pretty well from the vlogs that she had watched, but she did such a good job with these, especially where I went in and made so many changes. And I was like, okay, this is the final change. And then I would change my mind. And then she was just such an expert with like sizing and stuff, especially in this master bathroom. And I've been showing you guys right over in the corner. I've kind of been showing you just a little bit of what we're going to be doing. So the master bathroom before was probably this big right here. <laughs> Literally, that's about how big it was. And then we've extended it this far. So we'll have a really nice long counter space here. We put the toilet over here. I showed you guys with the wood the other day how it, this bathroom was gonna, the shower was gonna be a lot smaller. But she came up with a really good idea and helped me make it big enough so that the shower door could swing open this way, swing open this way, with still enough room for our standalone tub. So she was just so good and anyway, oh, this is what I just, I, I'm just gonna walk through the house with you. So. You walk in, this is obviously the living area, and then this is where the kitchen is going to go. This is where the door, the French door currently is, right here. So French door currently, and this is what it will be. There'll just be a window right here. Then this whole area right here, remember how it used to be just like one long room? It is now going to be a large master bedroom with a designated dining area right here. And there will be a sliding glass door right here to go outside centered on the wall and centered with the table. So that is very exciting. You walk in and there'll be a nice good sized master bedroom. There was a window here and a window like over here in the corner. We are covering those and we're going to put really large windows right here. And then you'll be able to walk into the master bathroom and then a nice wall walk-in closet with a skinny tall window up here. There was like a bigger window. This will just be tall and at the top. There'll be a privacy window right here above the tub. And then, you know, you come out <laughs> and then into the laundry room right here. So that's that guys. Here is all of the plumbing that the plumber is going to be starting on today. I hope you guys can like visualize and see this coming to life. Doesn't this seem pretty fun, Joel? Okay, I'm literally going to get out of your hair so that you can finish doing what you're doing. Joel is, I think, feeling a little frustrated today. It's hard for it. This is the first, like, well, work day that he's been back here since his, like, surgery, I think. I think he's just tired and a little cranky. And I'm just gonna get out of his hair. He's like half smiling at me. I'm actually going to close the vlog here. <laughs> um, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Margaret's link in the description and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. I actually feel really bad that Joel is feeling flustered. Not that he's feeling flustered, but there's so much that you have to think about. And I just know he's just trying to do a really good job. He doesn't want to make any mistakes or like overlook something. And so I do feel bad because I feel like he's a little flustered. Thank you.